It is the 21st of March 2016 and I am Ralph Turciano here to bring you the top three health headlines of the week. To start off with number one, omega-3 fatty acids shown to exert a positive effect on the aging brain. The subtitle, which I want you to pay attention to or like you to pay attention to, preventing Alzheimer's disease through supplementation with natural omega-3 fatty acids. That's important because this was done in actual pills as opposed to just consumption of fish. Participants who received omega-3 fatty acids showed greater improvements on an object location memory task than participants who received placebo-containing sunflower oil, which led the researchers to conclude results from the study suggest that a long-term approach to the prevention or to prevention is particularly effective in preserving cognitive function in older individuals. A targeted approach involving dietary supplements can play a central role in this regard. And number three, it shows you the amount that they've they took for about an average of six, not an average, they took actually four, six months, 2,200 milligrams. Following that, study number two, re-energizing the brain with a supplement called pyruvate. Pyruvate's a common supplement, but when you look at the study here, you're gonna probably recognize in order to get enough as a human, you're probably gonna wanna do it in powder form, but of course, consult a medical professional first. In our new study, we've shown that long-term dietary supplementation with Pruvate increases the energy reserves in the brain, at least in mice, in the form of molecules glycogen, creatine, and lactate. Pruvate supplementation may prove beneficial as an activated treatment for the elderly and in therapies for alleviating cognitive decline due to aging, neurodegenerative diseases, or mental disorders. It is well tolerated and warrants further studies in humans and down below. Remember, the study was done in mice, but they suggest in order to get adequate amount as a person or a human, it would require about 10 grams per day, which would require probably more power than pills. Following that, study number three, New study supports link between omega-3 supplementation and reduction in depression. This one's fairly vital for one main reason. It shows that the benefit of EPA and DHA is comparable to the reported effects of antidepressants. Let's begin. A new meta-analysis published in the Transitional Psychiatry supports the link between the intake of EPA and DHA omega-3 fatty acids, the kind found in fish, and reduction in major depressive disorders, MDD. The meta-analysis included 13 studies with 1,233 participants. And again, it was comparable to that of the meta-analysis of antidepressants, which is actually quite promising. But there's also one more thing which is fairly important. The effect was greater in studies supplementing higher doses of EPA and performed in patients already on antidepressants. Meaning someone's already taken antidepressants and they added EPA, again, consult your medical professional first. The results were actually uh, quite surprisingly beneficial. However, again, I left the forest plot down below so you can look at it yourself. And again, all citations will be listed at the end of the video, usually in notes. This is Ralph Turciano signing off for the 21st of March, 2016. And I hope to catch you again next week in seven days. Thank you.